Hey guys, it's Amber here. Thank you so much for joining me today on my channel, Plan Aloud. And today we are of course going to do a fun plan with me, but today is of course a little different. This is my currently page, which is probably my favorite page to create in my whole planner. So I am going to be using Happy Blooms. I feel I haven't been using florals a lot, so I'm like pushing myself to use more florals. And these are the florals I decided to choose. I just love the pinks and the oranges and the blues. It's just so, so pretty. And then I'm also going to be using Unique Alphas, which surprisingly, I have not chosen which letters I want to use. So let's just chew some together these ones would work nice these ones right here i've used those a couple times let's see what else we got because i think i'm gonna write i usually write like currently page but i think i'm gonna do january currently i noticed this year that last year when i flipped through my planner i didn't always have that on my page so i think i want to do that oh i could do these i think these would be cool all right i'm gonna do these so i am going to put my letters down and i'm gonna be back all right guys so i have january currently right um, right there it's super cute it's not spaced out but I am trying to embrace the imperfection and your girl is very imperfect <laughs> okay so of course I want to use this current corner piece sorry this corner piece it's really cute I don't know if I want to deal with having to punch maybe i just will i typically don't i just i really hate having to punch my pages don't ask me why okay i just i'm not very good at measurements and i seem to always do weird stuff i actually need to get like that crocodile punch if you haven't heard of it it's just like it's called a crop a dial. I don't know if you guys can hear the mowing outside, but it just got loud. But um, it's just this thing. It's almost like a hole punch, but it is for the disc system. It's really cool. I should have put one of these underneath here, huh? I'm sorry if you guys can hear the mowing. It's really distracting me. They just started, of course. Let me see. I might, uh -oh. this paper that I use is like really hard to get stickers off this paper. It's definitely not meant for stickers. <laughs> and if you haven't been here, this is just some paper that's like lightweight between like a cardstock and a sheet of paper and it's definitely always linked in the description sorry if you guys can hear it the mowing is getting so loud i don't just don't know should i attempt to put this one here I really don't want to have to pick up any other letters, but I might have to, you know, just because. And I don't know where I'm going to put my boxes, but I feel like I want everything to just kind of be around the edges, like the decorativeness. Let's, let's get this as close. To this punch as possible but not on the punch you know because I really don't want to have to punch that too to be perfectly honest I think I might have to lift my Y up yeah 
I hope you guys are all doing super well. I can say that I'm doing okay. I am still, like my back is still not 100%. Still pretty painful. But it is what it is. I've just been doing my exercises and keeping that up. And let's put this to the side. And I'm just gonna use black boxes. I know it's kind of weird to just use black boxes with these like super bright, pretty, beautiful colors, but it's what I wanna use. I have seven categories. So I'm actually gonna go back here. I typically do not like to use my line boxes. I just, I know she made them for journaling. I just, I just don't like how dark they are. Here, let me pull this one in because I need a big black box. There it is. Big one, and let's get one of these two. I need, a, I need these, yes. Let's see. I need one of these. Actually, I can use two of these. And I need this side size. This side. Um, let's get another one of these. And another one of these. And I got them out of Mojo Jojo Plants Neutral Boxes. Look, guys, this used to be as thick as that. Girl, your girl's really going through them. <laughs> All right, let's put our boxes down. My big box, if you haven't been here, my big box is always used for music because it's always the biggest category. I am such like. A music person, it just feeds my soul, makes me feel good, and yeah, we should definitely be doing the things that, you know, feed, feed our bodies, our souls, our minds, all that stuff. I think I'm just going to make this one like real simple, like nothing too crazy even though like I've just been like really just focused on taking care of myself and healing my back um, doing regular tasks have just been um, incredibly wearing like I get so tired so easy like earlier I'm actually surprised I'm recording this earlier I um, I meal planned, or not meal planned, I actually prepped and cooked like a bunch of stuff, and I can honestly say that I want to take, take eight naps, not one, eight, <laughs> because I'm so dang tired, like, like, I cannot just be napping all the time, you know, that's just not real life. So, that's been a little bit rough. I do like one or two tasks and it's like, oh, I gotta take like a really long rest break. So, I'm assuming that's probably why I like my back went out in the first place. Like, 
you know your body just tells you when you need to to stop so that's what my body did i know i'm moving my boxes like a bunch but i just don't want them to be like perfect you know and i kind of i just want them to look a certain way on the page and it's bothering me this one is bothering me i mean they're all bothering me because they're not straight but some more so than others Everything's like nice and down and I am going to write everything in and I will be back. I almost never like do a fast forward of this part because it usually takes me a good 7 to 10 minutes to write this out and fast forward it would be about two and a half minutes. So it's just not worth that much time in my video. So I'm going to write this stuff out and I will be back. So everything is filled in like I always do and I'm just gonna go through each one each category that I did fill in so the first one is watching I've been watching a lot more than normal and that is because of my back so along with that comes a lot of uh, watching <laughs> so um, the first three are from Hulu and the first one is how I caught my killer um, it's always like the person who unfortunately got killed. Something that they left behind gives clues as to who did the crime, whether it was their cell phone or, you know, some messages on, um, I believe one was solved by Snapchat, which is weird because you're, everything gets dumped after 24 hours or something like that or after you open it and read it but it was very interesting and then the secrets of playboy oh guys that one was really good i believe it was 11 parts and it's basically from the beginning to now and it is so good there's so much stuff in there that's like pretty disturbing pretty gross pretty vile um just heartbreaking gross and then deadly women and uh deadly woman has always been like a a show like I used to watch it with my mom all the time so it just is good <laughs> to me at least and then on Netflix I watched a movie called or a documentary rather called the hatchet wielding hitchhiker this guy got like a bunch of fame because he like protected these two women who were being attacked by this guy and it turned out he ended up committing a crime in another state it was pretty wild and then on youtube i've been watching oh steph co i love her she always has like really fun stories um and then i've been eating a lot of burrito bowls and i just make them at home like nothing like over the top i make like ranchero beans and I make cilantro lemon rice because I don't like salon I don't like lime rice, so I make it with lemon instead. And I take kale and I marinate it in like this garlic sauce that I make from scratch. So I put the marinated kale, the beans, the rice, guacamole, some jalapeno salsa from T Trader Joe's, um, guacamole and tomatoes, and that's essentially all. And it's so good and that's what i've been eating probably at least twice a week now um because it's just like it's like a complete meal and it's um it's just so good and i love like being able to like just make a small bowl of it and get full from it um it has everything you need in it, it has all the nutrients and vitamins so um i'm all about that oh and i also top it with um hemp seeds as well because why not give it a little bit of that and then sometimes i also um crunch uh some
tortilla chips over it as well you know get a little bit of crunch loving so if you don't know i live in california and <laughs> they've probably been talking about it on the news and we've been getting like an, an enormous amount of rain and people have been complaining about it and people have been suffering and some people have unfortunately passed because of the dangers of it and people have ruined homes and cars and um, piers have come down and lots of rushing water and mudslides. It's been really, really terrible. I'm really, really lucky. I don't live in, I live in the city, so I don't have to worry about like mudslides or anything. So while all that's been going on and people have been having all these tragedies and all these things, I personally love the rain. I love, I love the gloominess. Like, I feel like this is like my thriving season. I've probably said this a million times already. But I thrive in dark, gloomy, cold. I very much feel, you know, very Wednesday in in how I feel about the weather. <laughs> and then feeling, I'm feeling okay, but uh, but my back is still kind of killing me. So it's kind of hard to not think about other things when you have like a body part or just your body in general kind of crap out on you. So trying to stay positive i've been enjoying you know the, the shows and the rain although my back has been killing me so you know you got to look at the bright side even though it's not very bright because <laughs> i love the gloom okay okay i'm getting all weird okay listening listening is always my biggest um i've been listening to Roy Scoff and sword affair it is so good it is very progressive music and the lyrics is just like yeah it's a sort of fair it's just so good like if you've ever like not necessarily had an affair because nobody wants that well I, don't, I can't say i don't want that but if you've ever been in a relationship that's been like pretty tumultuous and but, you know, there, there's those strong feelings, but still tumultuous. And it's just like such a roller coaster. That's what the song is about, like the lyrics. And then the beat is just so like progressive, but melancholy at the same time, which I love that kind of music. It just like really speaks to my soul. I love um, music that's pretty dramatic in that sense. And then Mr. Sweetheart, it's also by Roy Scott. It's so good. It's just chef's kiss. And then I've been listening to Ellie and Fur, Carbon. It's just another one of those like progressive, like melancholy songs. The lyrics are really good. It just has sweeping sounds. It's just so nice. And then Two Lanes Belong. These are all kind of in the same category. Just like really, really good um they're like perfect for this weather honestly and then ben boomer escalate really good these are all like they come on like my channel that's like progressive music house music melancholy dubstep like that describes like some of the songs but other songs have more dubstep in it than anything which is more like a progressive house like dubstep like if you know those kinds of musics i don't know i i they're just to me this is all under the same umbrella of edm and trance like but this is like the lighter 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 side of it and then seven lions let go okay let go is one of my favorite songs but the festival mix is like on a whole other page. It It's like dubstep at the beginning and then it's like progressive house at the end. And then it feels very like EDM-ish trance at the end. It is just like the sounds is sweeping. You can feel all the emotion like coming through like um what's the i should probably put it um featuring fiora her lyrics are just like beautiful and um 
kind of make you feel like it's just it stirs up all the emotions like and when I listen to music that's what I like to feel like I don't want to just be like oh yeah I'm just here partying like I want to feel the music I want it to vibrate through my body because honestly that's how music is supposed to like actually affect you like if you ever notice like you'll listen to something and like it turns you off immediately um or something else like you hear it immediately you know it's going to be like your ultimate jam to me that is so important like if i hear something and it just throws me off i want to shut it off immediately and this stuff is all the like blasting like blast it to the max and then planning i'm planning my husband and son's trip to florida by the time you see this they will already be in florida when i recorded this it's a couple days before and it's just it's stressful planning a trip that you're not even going on i'm gonna be glad when that's over <laughs> and then also i've been drinking lots of sparkling water i actually have one right here it's the mixed berry by trader joe's it's my favorite um if you don't know my stomach is always upset doesn't matter what i eat so I always have sparkling water on deck also pulled these washi tapes out and completely forgot to use them i was gonna put them in my boxes a little bit but you see i filled up my boxes but um i don't know if it will look good now that you know I don't want to just like kind of throw it on the page but I thought these would have looked really cute but I kind of messed that up but let's see so here's the other florals um, back in um, Happy Blooms I don't know if I can fit them in there I feel like I'm missing something here but at the same time I do like the simplicity of it maybe I'll just keep it simplistic even though in my planner I've been trying to you know put more stickers in because I feel like I haven't been using enough as opposed to this but I think for my currently page this is pretty good I don't think I want to do anymore actually so let me show you the books that I did use so I used happy blooms and unique alphas for January currently and I also use mojo jojo plans neutral boxes all right guys if you like this currently page plan with me you should definitely give me a thumbs up like subscribe comment click the notification so you'll be notified when I post content thanks again and remember to have a beautiful one try something new.